What's something you admire about the stranger beside you? Hello. Hello. Hi, hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Cheryl. I'm Imran. Imran, nice yeah, to meet you. Nice to meet you. We press the button? Yes. Okay, let's go. Hi, welcome to the photo booth. Your 30 minute conversation begins now. Speak, listen, and connect. In two words, describe how you're feeling right now. I think nervous and excited, that's mine. To be honest, I have more than two words. Okay. But it's just not knowing what to expect. Not knowing what to ex expect is one word. Five, yeah. okay. When was the last time you had a conversation with a stranger? I would actually have conversations with strangers from time to time. So usually it's part of like events. Mm. Like I, I would go for these kind of events whereby mm. they use conversation cards oh, in yes. order to interact. Friendzone? Yeah. Yes, Friendzone. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I think similarly to you, I really enjoy having these moments. Last year, I, I, I tore my ACL oh, okay. and then I had surgery and everything. And then I would go down to, uh, they call it the fitness center. Oh, like, okay, in the, okay. In the just downstairs, right, the void deck. And I know like, there was this uncle, he was like always doing that wheel thing. Gives me a thumbs up, like, all oh, the best. Like, you know, like really give mm. me encouragement. I just, I also appreciate those random little wow. notes from strangers. But I think in Singapore, like such random moments usually happen because the older folks in Singapore actually they actually make the effort to reach out. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't see that happening for the younger folks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, all of us, we are so preoccupied with our social media, mm -hmm. with our smartphones. Mm. Yeah. What makes you happy? <sighs> when I actually have some time for my alone time. Mm. I mean, I do appreciate conversations with people. I also do appreciate like interacting with people. But at the same time, I do need my downtime. I think last year, one of my happiest moments was when I went on like okay. solo dates with myself. Nice. And I remember there was one day I went to Vivo City. I went to watch like Thor by myself. And then I went to have lunch at this place called Green Common, which I love. And I just remember that day, like after like spending the day by myself. And then I was just like, wow. I think it was a, one of the few times or first times that I really felt like I enjoyed my company. Like I can sense that you are an extroverted kind of person. So I would say that you are an INFG, probably. I am an I am also. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 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 If you could dine with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. I just, right at this moment, I'm a fan of Stephanie Shu from Everything Everywhere All At Once. So she played Joy in the movie because I'm, I'm an actor as well. Oh, so, Like okay. when I watched Everything Everywhere All At Once and I saw her play the character, I was like, oh, this is like everything I want in a role, everything like, so I think I'll just like want to chat with her and just hear about her life experiences. I think for me, I'm I'm like a current affairs, politics kind of person. Mm -hmm. So I'll follow the, like the social media profiles of uh, some of our politicians. And one politician's profile which actually caught my attention is Minister of State Elvin Tan. Because, oh yeah, one of his narrative which actually resonated with me was he mentioned about how he didn't do so well for his A-levels. Mm -hmm and he was not able to go to a local university. I really find, find it to be very humbling for a politician to be able to, to really talk about his struggles. Yeah. Is there anything you're struggling with at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, it's not so much of struggling at the moment, but rather reaching to the end of a struggle. So context is that I have had male pattern hair loss since mm. I was 17. And then like the patch actually grew bigger and bigger over the years. So I went to like skincare doctor, hair doctors, and then after that, they always say that, oh, you need to take a finasteride and minoxidil. So I decided to take the plant last year. I actually went for a hair transplant, but it's still in the process of like recovery. So you, you have not seen the full results yet. I see. Yeah. If I had to choose a struggle, mm -hmm. I think in a similar sort of vein, I always had 
what is what do you call it? Insecurities about like acne mm. and like oh, okay. pimples and stuff. Spend a ton of money a few weeks ago to okay. go see the dermatologist and get pills, you know, okay. to etc. 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 But I think it looks fine though. Makeup. Oh makeup. <laughs> <laughs> the makeup. <laughs> I mean I think ultimately it's like each to their own, like how they want to I guess whether someone chooses to live with acne, whether someone chooses to go on the journey of clearing their skin. You know, like be all being happy with where they are, I think. But I think overall, it's actually a very beautiful personal journey if you look back mm. in the long run. Because yeah. like when you're past that stage, then you realise that it, the struggles which I've gone through can actually be a learning point for someone. What is one thing you've done for yourself that you're proud of? So, um, aside from the hair transplant, mm. last year was also a memorable year. Mm because I went on a solo trip around the States. I'm actually a fan of reading up about brands, like the history of brands, like really seeing the brands in action. Maybe I should start doing that because I feel like there's so much richness you will learn from yeah. brand. Mm. And I think for me, I think it was actually going for therapy. The first time I went for counselling or therapy was because I had free sessions as part of my work. Mm -hmm. And it was actually very, 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 very hard for me to ask for help at that time. Because um, I can't even remember, like, I wanted to call the hotline, but I really couldn't bring myself to do it. I even tried to call a friend to help me. So I think really taking charge of my mental health, putting in concrete steps, I guess, to mm -hmm figure out what's in here <laughs> and why I do certain things. What's something you admire about the stranger beside you? <laughs> you have so much optimism and you have so much like, I guess, love for, I don't know the words things, like you talk okay. about, oh, I went to these countries because like they are where the brands originated. Yeah. I really admire this like curiosity, this optimism that you have around people, around stories. I really appreciate how you're bubbling with so much energy. <laughs> I really admire like your voice, like how you're able to like express your ideas so passionately. So that is something which I really yeah. am appreciative for. And I'm thankful that we actually met today. Yes! Yeah. yes. Thank you for participating in the Ooh. photo booth. Bid farewell to each other by posing for the camera. Oh. In three, two, one. Okay, nice. Ooh. Oh, uh, so. Ooh! oh wow. my god, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's a legit photo book. Wow. That is so cute. Oh. Nice. nice. Thank you.